hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so very quickly we're going to make a new file in adobe photoshop this time and i'm setting it to inches the width is 25 and the height is 40 we're going to make a kali so i have taken measurements according to the kali so i've copied this mughal border from google and i've pasted it here Control plus v Control plus t and you're going to resize it a bit and I'm using this rectangular selection tool to select the unwanted parts and I just deleted it. And deleting it a little more. So we go to filter and I'm going to sharpen this. Editing it a bit. So we're not really making making it but editing it. We go to image adjustment and adjusting the brightness. So you can do this accordingly. This looks good to go. Okay. And next I'm going to copy paste this. So for this we're going to use the very first tool. And we are going to press Alt. And then click and drag. Merge the two layers. Control plus E. And Alt click and drag again. Because I want the border to be a little broader. And then again Control T. Right click flip vertically to flip it see all these steps they're not mandatory i'm just doing it however i want my kali to be now i've unlocked the background layer and i've filled maroon color because that's the base color that i want for my kali and for this you can change the base color from here i want it to be a little darker okay and then alt backspace to fill make sure you're selecting the correct layer okay still not very satisfied with the color let us take the eyedropper so i'm going to select the color from the eyedropper and then we're going to fill it alt backspace moving this border down using the move tool and I've merged these two layers as well. Again, Control plus E is what you use to merge layers. And I've duplicated this border. I want it to be... Okay, that was too broad. So maybe not. Now we're going to extract a motif out of this. So I'm using lasso tool for the same. Very carefully selecting the motif. And we'll copy paste it. And scatter it because the top part of Kali it looks very plain and solidified. So you see, you can also create these things yourselves in Adobe Illustrator or uh, Corel Raw to some extent in Photoshop as well. But this is specifically, I'm, I'm editing it, okay? Like I've also mentioned in the thumbnail, it's not... Uh, really designing designing but let's say editing it so once i've selected it i'll make sure i click on the layer that has the motif and then Control c Control v okay so i've pasted this and now i'm going to arrange it so you can press Control alt t and okay this was alt click and drag yeah okay Control alt t drag it using the shift key and then Control shift alt t after pressing enter to repeat it you see uh we have a lot of layers now i'll press Control e to merge them all so all the motives are in one layer now and i'll simply alt click and drag because i want the placement to be like half brick placement guys i'm repeating all this is not necessary i mean it's not uh important that you do it the way i am doing it of course you can have them scattered some other way you can mirror them and you can be creative you can uh do it like you want it to be so i'm just telling you how i did it so you yeah, are selecting the layers together and alt click and drag to copy paste it and i've scattered the motives looks good to go Control e Control e to merge the layers merge the motives also in one layer 
I've taken polygonal lasso tool and I'll just shape it in the form of a triangle in the form of a curly or a skirt panel. Click, click, click. So you have a gordet or a skirt panel, which is triangular in shape. Guys, I'm repeating this. I took the width to be 25. That's the width, the complete width of the gully that I've made. And I've kept the length 40, which I realized later is too small when I was inserting this gully in Clove 3D. So uh, you can keep the length to be maybe 45. So the length has to do with the length of the gully that you want in the end. And the width, uh, the amount of flare that you want a panel to have. Okay, so I have deleted the unwanted parts by simply selecting the areas using the polygonal lasso tool and deleting it from the respective layer. So you keep clicking on the layers, you keep deleting it. We are left with this and we are done. I am not quite happy. So I've just extracted this little uh, border-like thing, like a stripe-like thing from the image itself and I've arranged it this way so it has this little detail on the gully Control plus D to resize it okay so you select it copy paste it and flip arrange and Control T to resize or flip once you're done arranging and resizing, remember to press enter. In case you do not know Photoshop basics, you can find, you will find a video for the Photoshop basics in on my channel. So you can refer to that before seeing this one. Uh, you'll be able to understand things better. I go to filter, liquify and using this first forward warp tool. I've just, you know, given it a curve at the bottom. And you can resize the brush from the right. You see, brush tool. And you can, uh, on the right, you have this option to resize it. You can resize it. And once you're done resizing, oh, sorry, not resize. I'm, I'm so sorry. You can reshape it into a curve. Once you're done reshaping, you're going to click on OK. You're going to hit OK. Uh, you see, the panel is now curved at the bottom and I'll have to yes resize this a bit again so click ok click here control T resize enter click on the border control T resize and enter bit of finishing I'm going to do so the extra parts I am deleting it. You see, the, uh, when I liquefied it, there's this extra things that we're able to see. So I'm just deleting them off. So magic wand, click on the areas, hit delete. And when you're deleting, make sure you click on the layer from where you want to delete it. Using the brush tool, uh, the normal soft brush tool uh, you see there were some areas that were not clean so I'm just using this tool to make the patches of the color which is the base color of my curly So once you make it here, you can go to file and you can save it as a PNG image. And that's what, exactly what you're going to use in Clothe 3D as panels. And so, yeah, I'm, this is edited and we didn't really make it make it. It can be made on Adobe Illustrator and Corel Draw, this is just one of the ways you can very quickly do it. Yeah, I just made things a little more harder for myself. Okay. Okay, clean. 
and we're good to go. And this way you can very easily create a Kali out of an image in Adobe Photoshop. Thank you for watching guys.